Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. So I just wanted to share with you guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> Y'all are going to laugh. Um, I got a YouTube message yesterday from Starbucks telling you how to customize your drink when you order online. And, it, and I had struggled with that because I was like, I don't know how to, you know, I just have to get what's on the menu. How do I customize it? And now I found out. So this morning, I am going to um, customize my drink and using my app and pick it up and add on in to work. So I'll try to remember to um, link the video below. If not, you can, I'm sure, go to Starbucks website or Google how to customize your drink on the Starbucks app. But I will try to remember to upload, I mean, to tag the video below, um, you know, when I upload this over the weekend. So, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that that is a wonderful option and I am thankful. So, I'm pulling into the train station to park my car. So, I will see you guys later on. Have a great day. Good morning, friends. Um... I am out and about this rainy Saturday morning. I'm about to build an ark and just get on the ark because it has rained every day I know since Wednesday. So I think this is the last day of rain and then tomorrow is supposed to be nicer. So, But I am out and about on my way actually to get some more rain boots because the boots that I have... Um, when I was putting them on leaving work yesterday, I noticed like right around the ankle where it creases that they um, have a little hole in them. So what good are some rain boots with they got holes in them? So I'm gonna run to DSW and um, see if they have some rain boots. I really want the Hunter rain boots, but yeah, they're a little too pricey for me right now. Um, although I do have some sitting in my Amazon cart that I'm going to um, eventually purchase, but I just need something right now um, to get me through today and tomorrow. Um, well, tomorrow's supposed to be sunny, but I mean, next week when the rain comes back. So anyway, um, that's what I'm doing and I also need to run to either Target or Big Lots. Need some paper products at the house. And uh, tomorrow I'm gonna try to check in with you guys and my brother and I, one of my brothers, my middle brother, my oldest brother lives in Savannah, Georgia. So he won't be here tomorrow, but we're going with my mom to church as I mentioned to you guys in an earlier segment of this vlog. Um, I'm gonna take my mom to church and breakfast and we got her a Fitbit and that came in the mail yesterday and she got it and she was super excited. So yeah, we're doing that. Um, but then I did want to just touch on something. I'm not going to be a Debbie Downer and dwell on it. But um, I saw a meme yesterday and I shared it on my Instagram and on my Facebook. Basically talking about Mother's Day celebrating all mothers. Um, you know, it's a beautiful day, a well-deserved day to you know honor all the mothers in our lives but also for people such as myself it can be a kind of sad day because there are many of us out here who want to be mothers and for whatever reasons we're not um so you know it kind of when someone like just now i just left the jewelry store getting an anklet um repair he said have a happy mother's day or happy mother's day you know, so you smile and you say thanks, you know, whatever. I used to say, oh, well, I'm not a mother and, you know, well, you're somebody's mother and I don't even want to go through that. So I just say thank you. But it, it's a reminder. So, it, you know, and this rain doesn't help, you know, being all dreary, but it makes you kind of sad a little bit. But I am thankful for my mother, the mother figures in my life. The, you know my friends and family members that are mothers and I used to be a teacher so I guess some of my kids were my you know kids you know and I've had other young people in my life who and you know have influenced I hope I have influenced so that counts but it's still not the same as 
being a mother. So I just want us to think about that, um, that sometimes everyone's Mother's Day, Father's Day the same could be just, you know, can be a little sad for some people. Um, and also there are people that have lost their mother this year. So they may be, you know, sad and, and dealing with that. So we just got to keep everything in perspective when we're talking about holidays. So, you know, generally they're happy, but for some people it's not such a happy time. So I just want people to be conscious of that. Um, you know, so then I have friends who don't have a great relationship with their mothers. So, you know, what do they do tomorrow with the, you know... You know, so just stuff we got to think about. And like I said, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. But let's just keep everyone in our thoughts and prayers. And, you know, when we're, we're talking about that. But for all the mothers, seriously, real talk. Happy Mother's Day to you all. I hope you're enjoying your Mother's Day weekend. And um, doing something special for yourself. Because you definitely deserve it. So, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to check in. Hopefully you can finally see my brother on the vlog again. I tried to do it during the Christmas lights, and it just bombed miserably. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll try to get my brother Jeff on the vlog tomorrow. Uh, his kids will be with their mom for Mother's Day. So, it'll just be me and Jeff going to um, church with mom. So, yeah, so I'm going to try to check in if I can without looking totally crazy um, in DSW and show you guys if I find any boots what I'm going to get. And, um, yeah, so see you in a bit. Good morning. Happy Mother's Day. Um, I'm on my way to get my brother. We're going to ride together to my mom's church this morning. So just wanted to say hi before he got in the car and tell all the mothers and those in that capacity or acting or former or whatever, happy Mother's Day. Um, so, yeah, enjoy your day. And I'll be on in just a minute with my big head, knucklehead brother, Jeff. All right. All right, y'all. There's Jeffrey looking irritated that he's on the vlog. Hello. <laughs> Jeffrey, huh? tell the people what your favorite um, mother's, not Mother's Day, but your favorite memory of mom or something about mom you, you remember growing up. was going to ask me. Oh, I could have thought of it. Oh, okay. Well, I'll go first while you think of I remember Mama playing her Supreme Records and Nat King Cole, you know, when she was in the kitchen preparing food for whatever occasion or doing chores or paying bills. She would be playing that music and trying to whistle, and she would be off key with the whistling. But, um, yeah, she would play her. Supremes and all that, and Diana Ross and all that. I remember that. Oh, I mean, of course, there's other memories too, but I do remember that. What about you? Did I get you enough time? Yeah, I guess. I guess. I don't know. Just going on trips and doing things, going to plays with her. And oh yeah, the plays. Trips, you know, around the country, Chicago. Yeah, we went to Chicago stuff. a lot because that's where my mom is from. I mean, you know, just just regular mom being mom. Yeah. All of us good memories. Yeah, definitely. I don't definitely. have anything that really stands out. I remember her being at school when I she was at the high school when I was there and her coming in the coming down the hall, coming in the classroom. Like we couldn't do nothing. Cause they'd go right down to her office yeah. and tell her They knew stuff I did before I did. Right. And I get in trouble and didn't even know what I did. So yeah. But still good memories. I don't know if that's good memory. It's it, a memory. Now we can laugh back at it. Okay, it's a memory. Oh, I do got a funny memory. It wasn't funny at the time, though. So, my mom had a problem. My mom's very old school and traditional. And she believes that the boy should chase the girl. Well, and I still, I do agree with that now in hindsight. Mm -hmm. I agree, too. Oh, shut up. But at the time, like, the, the guy that I'm referring to wasn't driving. He, I was older than him. He didn't have a car. Or whatever so I would go by his house pick him up go by there and hang out and that just drove my mom crazy so one time I wasn't supposed to be over there and I went over there anyway and do you know that my mama pulled up in the darn driveway y'all got out the car rang the bell 
and I had to come home. I was so embarrassed. You know, just imagine being 16, 17. You're mortified. Your mama's out there ringing the bell. It's not. It's right after school, so it's about 4 o'clock. You know, there were adults home, so it wasn't just me and him there at the house. And she talking about, is my little girl in there? What you think, woman? You see my car in the driveway. You know I'm in there. Really? Really. You couldn't just, all right, make a mental note, ride by, and deal with me when I got home? No. That's your mother. Had to come in and embarrass me. Yeah, he just didn't get caught in his dirt. But I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the bad sometimes. guy. I got caught. Sometimes. But he didn't get in trouble. Like I, He didn't get embarrassed. Then nobody rolled up on him like I got rolled up on him. That's true. Right. So, yeah. But that's a fun, I laugh now, and I give her a hard time about it now, you know. But at the time, it wasn't too funny. So, yeah. All right. But we're headed to church. And as you can tell, we're very excited. Not. We shouldn't say that. We shouldn't say that. It's just... We're used to our church, who's, which is very lively and just a great sermon. And my mother's church is more conservative and dry. <laughs> and yeah, a little bit on the dry side. So we're not as enthusiastic. Plus, it's like 35 minutes away, so we had to get up extra early. Whereas our church is less than 10 minutes from our house. Houses. So yeah. All right, so happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Jeffrey, put a little smile in your voice when you say Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, see? See? And like I said, our other brother, Roy, he's in Savannah, so he wasn't able to join us. But I'm sure if he was in town, he would have been guilty to come to church, too. I shouldn't say guilty. That's wrong. Guilty. Guilty. We were guilty. All I want for Mother's Day is for my kids to come to oh, church yeah, with that's, me. That's, that's a memory. Yeah, Mom but yeah, guilty. she does guilt you, and then you feel bad for being feeling being mad that you got guilty. Yeah, that's a memory right there. Yeah, she will do it, but don't no pressure. But I really would like, you know, that Please. whole yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take her to the dry church, and then we're gonna be really thirsty because it was so dry. So we're going out to eat afterwards. You can't drink some hot. No, you can't get no. You mean grown up beverages? Yeah. This boy here. This boy here. If anybody got the phone number for uh hey hey, could you um inbox it to me for this one? Nah, I'm just joking. But sometimes you do have to deal with mom needing adult beverage. Need adult beverage. <laughs> so, yeah, something. Jeff, we get out of church at like eleven thirty. That's another thing. Her church well I do like that. They Your they nephew got was calling. One service and um we're out. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Answer the phone. I was waiting for you to get off your you phone. You can talk on the vlog on the phone. All right, y'all. You see Am what kind of day I'm going to have. How do you think I'm arguing with We're not Stacey? arguing. Makes it we're doing the vlog. You're, you're messing up the tape. Because our Stacy is doing her vlog. My nephew is called my brother. He's like got a radar. Whenever Jeffrey Mason leaves. says hello, vlog. Hello. My nephew says hello, vloggers, people watching. Did I get a cold? How do you figure I got a cold? It's allergies. All right, y'all. I'm out. Bye. Yeah.